Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Lithuania has taken a significant stride in enhancing its military capabilities with the reception of the initial batch of Joint Light Tactical Vehicles, JLTV, as part of a second contract with the United States. This procurement signals a major leap forward in bolstering the mobility, security, and combat effectiveness of Lithuanian infantry units. The contract, involving a total of 300 armored vehicles, underscores Lithuania's commitment to modernizing its armed forces. The Ministry of Defense of Lithuania announced the arrival of 35 JLTV armored vehicles this week, marking the continuation of a partnership with the U.S. government that commenced in 2019. Initially, this program saw the delivery of 200 all-terrain military vehicles to Lithuania, with the first batch arriving in August 2021 and the final shipment in December of the preceding year. Some of these vehicles are equipped with Crow's remote-controlled stations, housing 12.7mm caliber machine guns. The success of the initial phase paved the way for the signing of a second contract in October 2022, encompassing an additional 300 armored vehicles. These new JLTVs will be outfitted with heavy M2 QCB 12.7mm machine guns and will be supplied with requisite weaponry, spare parts, and tools. Upon the full implementation of this second contract, the Lithuanian Army will boast a fleet of 500 modern American tactical armored SUVs. Lithuanian Minister of National Defense, Arvid Zainasauskas, underscored the significance of this acquisition, labeling it as one of the most crucial steps in the modernization of the Lithuanian Army. He emphasized that strengthening the Lithuanian Army significantly contributes to deterring potential adversaries, underscoring the pivotal role of these vehicles in the national defense strategy. Manufactured by Oshkosh Defense, the JLTV represents a superior replacement for the HMMWV, Humvee, offering heightened protection, enhanced mobility, and increased load capacity. Its modular design facilitates rapid adaptation to diverse military requirements, enabling the swift installation of various weapons, communication systems, and specialized equipment. Besides being utilized by the United States, this armored vehicle finds service in the armies of several NATO member states. Derived from the LATV armored wheeled vehicle, the JLTV features ballistic and mine-resistant ambush protection akin to an MRAP, mine-resistant ambush protected, vehicle. It can be armed with a range of weaponry, including remote-controlled turrets ranging from 12.7 to 20 mm caliber. Thus, the introduction of JLTVs into Lithuania represents a significant augmentation of the Army's capabilities, enhancing not only its mobility but also the safety of personnel and overall combat effectiveness. This initial batch aligns Lithuania with NATO standards, positioning the country at the forefront of military modernization within the alliance. That's all for now, see you later.